Hi, I'm Le Yan from Google Research. Today, I'm going to present to you our recent work on the diversification aware learning to rank using distributed representations. And this work is in collaboration with Jen, Rama, Shenhui, and Mike. We're all from Google Research. Learning to rank framework has been widely applied in search and recommendation systems. In learning to rank, we essentially train a machine learning model so that given a query and associate list of candidate documents, the learning to rank model generates a ranking of the candidate list that optimizes the user's utility. Usually in the literature, the user's utility is considered to be only determined by the relevance of the document to the query, but in practice, the diversity in the top results also matters. This is partly due to the ambiguity of the language. In other words, there might be uh, unspecified subtopics associated with each query. For example, rice can be the name of the university or the food. Sometimes this ambiguity could also be the user's intention. For example, when I search for rice here, uh, I could mean how to cook a rice or where can I buy the rice? Or sometimes even I may be interested in how to grow the rice. So increasing the diversification in the top search results is important in uh, improving the user's utility. The methods aim to uh, optimize for the diversification ranking can be generally categorized into two categories, the implicit versus explicit approaches. In the implicit methods, queries and subtopics are used in training, but only queries are available at serving. And in the explicit methods, subtopics of the query are needed in both training and serving. As more information is available, the performance of the explicit methods is usually better. However, the subtopics are usually not available in practice. So we will focus on the implicit approach in this research. And here we also give a um, brief list of methods in both categories. Most of these popular methods are based on sequential models. Compared to the uh, relevance ranking, where we have a ranker that scores independently each document and then sorts them according to the scores. In the sequential models, the ranked list is generated sequentially, one after the other. At each step, the generator model will select a new document depending on the query the candidate document that are left and the document that are already selected. One difficulty of the model in this next document paradigm is that they cannot be trained efficiently as there are exponentially large number of uh, situations that the model needs to learn. In fact, most previous advances are using different path sampling techniques to efficiently train the model, uh, which are summarized in graphs here. And our question is that, how can we bypass uh, this next document uh, paradigm so that we can efficiently train a model? And can we use the diversification problem? With, can we solve the diversification problem with a score and sort ranker? And our answer to the question is, of course, yes. To achieve such diversification-aware ranker, we use the state-of-art performance. We have many incorporated the following techniques. First, we train the ranker with a diversification-aware loss that directly optimizes the diversification metrics, for example, alpha NDCG metric or intention-aware ERR metric. Second. We feature the query and candidate documents with distributed uh, representations instead of manipulated features. And finally, we use a least-wise scorer 
that captures the ranking context as in the uh, sequential models. So to directly optimize the diversification metrics, consider alpha NDCG metric as an example. Given a rank of the uh, candidate documents and the subtopic labels of the documents, uh, we can compute an alpha gain based on the subtopic relevance and, uh, a dis um, and the discount due to the coverage of the same subtopic in the top ranked results. And similarly to the discounted uh, accumulated gain DCG, we can multiply alpha gain with a rank discount and uh, summarize uh, sum them to get an alpha DCG. And usually we use a normalized version, uh, alpha NDCG as a metric for diversification. But for the optimization purpose, alpha DCG is sufficient. But we cannot directly train a neural network model with the alpha NDCG metric as um, the gradient is managing almost everywhere. But we could apply approximation trick, first developed by Qing and later summarized by Branch. Essentially, we approximate all the step functions in the um, rank discount function and coverage discount functions. Uh, <clears throat> with a smooth sigmoid function of scores so that the gradients can be then be back propagated to the scores and thus the scoring functions. And given scores, the metric value uh, now is uh, computed on the superposition of different rankings that are near the perfect sorting of the scores. And that's what we call the next, uh, the soft next document approximation. And we will use this uh, smooth approximation of the metrics as the diversification aware loss. We do not manually extract features for query and documents, but we use distributed representations of them. And this uh, can be easily generated with modern techniques like model to back or BERT. We also apply the latent cross techniques to generate a vector of query document cross features by element-wise multiplication of query and document embeddings. One concern of the traditional score and sort ranker is that the scores are independent of the context which is mistaken prone in the diversification problem as a highly relevant document could, should be ranked lower if many top candidates are covering the same subtopic. So we consider the least-wise scorer and use self-attention layers to extract the least-wise embedding features for each document. And we integrate all these ingredients uh, before uh, in our diversification aware learning to rank or the little in short framework. And we feed in uh, the query representation EQ and document representation EI for document I, latent cross feature CI and the least wise context embedding AI in a multi-layer feedback neural network to score each document I and trend with our, um, the whole pipeline is trend with our diversification aware loss. We test this framework with the, on the track diversity task, which is based on the uh, Clue Web data set. We have about 200 queries in total and we do five-fold cross-validation with three-fold training, one-fold for validation, and one-fold for test. All the results shown are on the test set. Besides the implicit baseline methods we have mentioned before, we will also include our results with uh, some ablation studies. And the, the notation is specified below. We will have models 
that trend with softmax loss, uh, which is uh, not a cell diversification aware loss, and uh, model with trend with RLTR that is diversification the loss, but not soft uh, next document approximation. We also have model with uh, latent cross, with and without latent cross, and model with and without self-attention least-wise context. First, our full model with all the techniques uh, we have discussed be before, uh, the DIN, uh, the, the one named as DIN for the self-attention, LC for latent cross, and alpha DCG for the alpha DCG loss, the one in the green box, significantly outperforms all the baseline models in the implicit methods uh, as shown above. It improves about 12% in terms of alpha and DCG at five and at 10, uh, compared to the state of art M square DIV method, which is shown in the red box. When the loss is changed to RLTR one, which is diversification loss, but it's not uh, in, in our net soft next document uh, approximation, we see a significant drop in all the diversification metrics. And similarly, when the latent cross uh, between the query and document is removed, the diversification performance also drops significantly in our Daleto framework. Interestingly, M square DIV is a method also based on the distributed representations. And when the latent cross is applied, we see some improvement uh, in terms of uh, diversification matrix, but we don't see statistical significant difference of using this latent cross in the M squared DRV compared to the strong improvement of latent cross in our Daleto framework. Finally, when the least wise context aware soft attention is removed, though we don't see significant difference uh, in the diversification metrics, we do find that the context-aware model with self-attention is more robust to perturbations of the test data set. Um, in our test, we have added perturbations by uh, simply duplicate some of the uh, candidate documents uh, with some probability. And when we increase this probability of duplication, we see that the uh, performance of both models uh, decrease. Uh, but compared to the model without self-attention, uh, without awareness of the least-wise contacts, the model with self-attention uh, decrease is more gentle and uh, more shallow. In summary, we have stepped out from the next document paradigm, uh, especially by in incorporating the following techniques. First, we have introduced a directly differentiable diversification aware loss uh, based on a smooth approximation of the diversification matrix. Second, we use distributed representations of the queries and candidate document uh, with latent cross. And Third, we apply self-attention layers to incorporate the least-wise context. And uh, our Daleto framework with all above techniques can be more efficiently trained and significantly outperforms the current state of art in place and masses in the next document paradigm. And in the paper, we also give some intuitions on why our framework works so well in the diversification task. So please take a look and show us your feedbacks. And thank you for attention. I will take your questions.